there's a big question that must be rising in some minds that what were the prayers which prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam performed in the gare hira probably it has been routine previously also with the prophets we'll take the example of hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam before the prophethood he also used to resort to such like things to pray absolutely at a place which was absolutely free there were no evils there were no there was no interference there were no one who would become a hurdle for that or he would be mentally distracted or at heart he would feel something bad so the prayers which he performed before the prophethood is called the word in arabic has been used ya tahannas for that somebody calls ya tahannas and that was nothing but praying to allah in one way or the other way hazrat ibrahim al islam went through many stages of life before the prophethood his time was also time of idols the idols have taken quite a prolonged time and many people have been worshiping most of the people have been worshiping idols in their own times and that was in the time of hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and nobody uh, can forget the incident of azar and hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and preparation of the idols and selling them and doing such like things hazrat yathannas hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam's worship prayers were purely for the god almighty how did he reach this decision first of all he saw the stars he thought there must be something but the stars ultimately lost their light and they disappeared he said ki ye fana hone wali cheez hai they are not eternal he then went towards moon moon also finished he went then went towards the sun the sun also did the same thing ye sari cheeze dekhne ke baad hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam ne farmaya ke main in cheezon ki ibadat hargaz nahi karunga jo ghayab ho jati hain fana ho jati hain chhup jati hain be asar ho jati hain aur unme the actual characteristics which they possess they become absolutely invisible and finished what to do then phir aap aapne farmaya ke main uski ibadat karunga jisne ye kainat paida ki hai jisne zameen aur aasman banaye hain ye sura inam ki ayat number 9 mein tehreer hai کہ میں اس کی عبادت کروں گا جس نے زمین اور آسمان کو پیدا کیا 